Hi and welcome. Today I have another art journal spread and I want to use some of my collage papers and I'm working in my almost square watercolor journal and here I have another paper that I wanted to include with these um, colorful jelly prints. It's a craft paper that's just stamped um, with one stamp in different directions and I just um, did not ink up every for every print so I get a different layers and a bit of depth and interest and I think this um, craft color matches these bold colors from the jelly prints quite well so I decided I want to combine them I am adhering all the papers with my Tombow glue stick. It's my favorite glue stick. Um, I never had a piece falling off and yeah, I really like it. It's not that messy compared to a Yuhu, for example. And um, you also have some time to replace it if you make something wrong. Of course you can work with gel medium instead but then you have to wait until your page is dry before you can keep on working and often I don't want to wait. I want to create something quickly and I want to make something and I don't want to want to um, use so much time. Often I don't have that much time so I prefer usually the glue stick when I'm working in my art journal. I try to mix the borders of the papers a bit by uh, tearing them and some are um, straight. So I have different edges which makes it a bit more interesting I think. Some of the jelly prints I'm using today are made with our new stencils. They are in the shop since yesterday and they are, um, all the new products are 10% off. We also have two new stamp sets and 10 stencil designs. And as I said, some of the papers are already made with these. Um, the green one here on the right side has um, some stencil pattern in the print um, and I will also use one of the stencils on my spread. If you want to have some jelly printing inspiration I often print with stamps and the jelly plate. I have a lot of videos already on my channel and I will link uh, the playlist up in the end cards.
I really like when I have some white space on my spread so I'm using some heavy gesso here and I'm adding it with a silicone brush um, in some areas. I think that blends in that patchworky background a bit and it also gives me some contrast that white against the bold colors and I really like that. I also really like the texture you get with that silicone brush and I also use my fingers to apply the gesso. That's also quite a nice texture and I really like the intuitive way when I work with my fingers. As I said, I wanted to use a stencil on this spread and the stencils you can see here are not the ones we have in the shop. Well, the patterns are the same, but um, these are cut from, uh, some are cut from paper and some are cut from thin stencil material with my Camille. Um, I did this before I ordered the stencils so I can, um, could try out if I like them. Um, the stencils we have in the shop are really high quality with a thick material, quite thick, and you can create really nice texture with them. And I already tried them out now and I really like them. Today I want to use um, this stencil with the crisscross design, just with a sponge and some acrylic paint to add some texture to the background. I let everything dry um, before I keep on working on that spread because I want to do some stamping on the background to bring in even more texture and then it's good when the acrylic stuff you have on the page is dry so you don't have it adhering to your stamp. I'm using a number stamp from the Mix It Up stamp set. I don't have in mind which one it is but I will link it up in the video description. When I'm working over an acrylic surface I prefer using stay zone ink because that dries the fastest. It almost dries immediately and you don't have to worry that you smear your ink. I wanted to add in some additional mark making with crayons. I'm using the Neo Colors here and I picked a green that was similar to the one that is peeking through uh, the paint on the page and I really like it and I just make some little ovals to bring in more interest and layers and depth. I sometimes get asked um, why I make something on the page and then go in and cover it up. Um, I will not answer these comments anymore because um, it's a lot of writing I have to do. And I think I answered this question a ton of times in comments and also in my videos. I don't know what I'm going to create. I just start. It's an intuitive process 
and sometimes I cover up stuff and sometimes I cover up areas that I don't like or I cover up areas where I think I need something else and that's part of the process. I don't know this in the beginning and also often when you cover something you collaged up with a layer of paint, the collage is still peeking through and gives you some interest and depth and that's also a point um, that makes it makes it more finished in the end I would say so again for those who are wondering why I cover up stuff that I glued down before or I've stamped before um, this is the reason I'm adding some splatters to my spread. You know, I do this quite often uh, because I just love the texture and the, the energy you get with these splatters. For my focal point on this spread, I picked a stamped image from our pencil marks number six. I had this stamped and colored in a while ago and it's laying in a box and I thought this would fit very nice on this spread so I decided to pick that one. I'm adhering it with some liquid glue because it's stamped to watercolor paper and quite heavy and then the liquid glue adheres a bit better compared to the glue stick and I don't have to press it down that long compared to the glue stick. For my sentiment, I picked one from the mixed sentiments and talking about sentiments, we now have the mixed sentiment words, um, almost all of them together in one clear stamp set where it has four word blocks. Um, I will share this in one of the upcoming videos so you know what I'm talking about. I'm really happy about that because I really love to use those words to create my own sentiments for artist trading cards or art journal pages. Yes, and that was my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you are inspired. Don't forget to check our new release over in the shop and I hope you will see us next time. Bye.